Greetings. I want to see the Alliance map. I asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago, but it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. about my age called Rokur. We are taken to calling Rokur the Roden for his habit of collecting axes. For 20 years he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Rokur. Rokur accepted the Holmgang and on the agreed-upon day, he laid out twelve of his axes and asked, Which of these will I use to slay you? Will it be Bone Splitter? He said. My bearded blade inscribed with Sather runes, affixed to a handle of English oak? My Daynat, which swings through the air on two hands with the speed of an arrow's flight? Or might it be Twin Wolf Wounder? Broker growled, growing even more bold. Fierce pair of throwing axes. At that moment, the man who had challenged Roker brought a large stone down upon his head. Roker died instantly, and his axes were given away as gifts. <laughs> Take the last one. Story. Some time ago, I met a wandering skull that not composed a verse in years and was fearful of losing his skill. I said I knew many such great men, a few jarls, a handful of kings by name. 
but to my knowledge, all of them had many skulls of their own. This poor scald was disappointed and thanked me for my time, asking my name as he departed. Dog Nithison, I told him. The scald's eyes went wide. Dog Nithison, he exclaimed. Of Thornburg? I nodded and said, the very man I... Save it for later. Monastery, bound to be rich pickings. Skull's eyes went wide. Dog Nithison, he exclaimed. Of Thornburg? I nodded and said, The very man I am. The poor Skull sung to the skies with joy. You are a legend among legends, he said. Watch that. I beg patience, all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The Olaf. Hey, bear our master, Ame. You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> I can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with... To speak with him, if I can. Ah, the Governor Trigger. Good and fair day and come to London four years back. Trigger? Hey, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with old manor and Avery. Stow! Avgus wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> that if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it!
Gordon Evan, you fight like the devil stole in your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stowe's my name. Stowe of Lunden. A burly name for a burly man. I like one who can hold himself in a brawl. To walk tall in Lunden, a man must know how to swing his fists. It is not empty praise I give. <laughs> well, your candor is appreciated. Take me to your governor's, though. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. Dane Hammer? I am Avo, of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Avo. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lundinwich, on a Saxon burra just past the western walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke's an orphan of the last Viking horde put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. O oh Lord, deliver these men with the light of thy countenance visitive and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. You must be Erke. London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me second reeve? First, in the Eastborough. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? I must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this bird. This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome, went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erge, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Oh dear. Notes from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses? Intriguous desk. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, 
man had a wandering hand, and I didn't know. I didn't know. He didn't want you to. A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. leave. Two average and one massive. Sitting on our laurels while Eivor does all the work. Do not end me this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? No. It looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this guard for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat, probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. The second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attacker took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together, three sets, heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manicus. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baldersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The leech hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic Temple. I passed it on the way here.
This temple is our only strong lead. I would like to see it. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? The gods have been murdered! To arms! Defend Tripper! Oh, well, now the locals have caught a whiff of this fatted mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of here. I must wear my feet. Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet atop London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. Dominus Nostra Sapiens Nugus. Compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a wizard. <laughs> it's 
tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there's a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. Messages between the leech and the compass. Healing. Gutting. The leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I have got enough to go on for now. Erke and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least Sunin will feast. not to draw attention here.
It's worth knocking on a few doors. That's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Eivor, you bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum. Notes between members of a secret agents, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The arrow is a Dane who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests he is an archer. <laughs> I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks. Surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The Leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I cannot say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately, but not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again in several places, cut to pieces. Good Lord, Erke. The compass is a mystery. He is mentioned often, but there is little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for- I can wait. Let the compass come to us. Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him. When be done, the drink at least.
Fusum Ashingum stand at Vergende Tart Hilare Kreitu. Thank you.